Welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Rio. Today I'm with E to talk about parameter management in AWS. During software development process, we usually need to store data such as password, data, database string, third-party license code, and other secret as parameter values. In AWS, we can store those parameters in System Manager Parameter Store or DynamoDB or other places. Next, I will have each introduce how we can use either service like manager parameter store independently. Hello, everyone. Let's start with AWS system manager parameter store. This service provides secure storage for configuration, data management, and secrets management. Parameter store has two major advantages compared to other services security, and uh, compatibility. You can store sensitive data that must remain encrypted as secret string. On the other side, you can reference system manager parameters in your scripts, commands, SSM documents, and configuration and automation workflows by using the unique name that you specify when you created the parameter. It is very flexible and it can be directly used through AWS SDK and AWS command line. Next, we will have a demo on implementation on parameter store in AWS Lambda. We can create a parameter in parameter store. And then we can get this parameter in our scripts by Python SDK both three. For parameters that are not sensitive, we can consider having them stored in DynamoDB. It's friendly to read and manage them. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database service, so we can store the data as whatever schema we like, and we can change it anytime. One advantage of using DynamoDB is that all table activities can be captured with DynamoDB stream. At the point in time when such changes occur, a Lambda function or code build process can be triggered. DynamoDB stream can be easily created in AWS console. Besides, data in DynamoDB table can be encrypted and we can modify AM policy to make certain DynamoDB table is invisible for users, which helps DynamoDB become a secure parameter store service. So how we should decide to adopt systems managed parameter store of DynamoDB? Here are some key features to wrap up. Systems managed parameter is designed for parameter store specifically. We should consider using it at first glance. However, if we have a lot of parameters to manage or it's important to monitor parameter change, we should make use of DynamoDB instead. Both tools can be used to manage parameters securely and conveniently in very low cost. And in most cases, we can pick either 
to finish our tasks. Okay, thanks, Yi. That's all for comparing the AWS Parameter Store and DynamoDB for storing environmental variables. I have attached sample code and a script in the below description. And if you are interested in further more about Lambda integration with the DynamoDB stream, please subscribe to our channel and we will upload video very soon. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.